But today is, in fact, celebrating one of the days that will go down in the annals of British history. Yeah, yeah. There are many years in British history that we can call to mind, be it 1066 or 1215, or how many do you want? <laughs> that, that 1346, um, 1485, 1509, 1588, 1649. These are great and famous years. But it is very, very rare. It is very rare that specific days are commemorated as I think the 23rd of June 2016 will be commemorated. It is on a par with St Crispin's Day 1415 and with the 18th of June uh, 1815. Great days in our nation's history. And we are here debating this because our constitution has been put back on a proper footing. It has been put back on a proper footing by the wisdom of the British people, yeah, yeah. but also, as it happens, by the Supreme Court. And I am particularly pleased by page 29 of the judgment that says, for these reasons, we disagree with Lloyd LJ's conclusions in Rees-Mogg, insofar as he held that ministers could exercise prerogative powers to withdraw from the EU treaties. So the judges, though it's taken a year or two, finally agreed that in 1993 my father was right. Yeah. So there is a virtue yeah. in this judicial process, slow and long-winded though it may be. But actually it is so important constitutionally because Dice's constitution has been restored. Yeah. The Queen in Parliament is the sovereign body of our nation. And that is so important because, as Dicey said, Dicey argued, it is Parliament that is the defender of the liberties of the people, of our ancient constitution and of our freedom. 